If all human beings disappeared from the earth, within 50 years, all forms of life would flourish. Al Gore spoke uh, the other night about ecology and the revolution that was triggered um, by Rachel Carson. I believe our only hope for the future is to adopt a new conception of human ecology, one in which we start to reconstitute our conception of the richness of human capacity. Our education system has mined our minds in the way that we've strip-mined the earth for a particular commodity. And for the future, it won't serve us. We have to rethink the fundamental principles on which we're educating our children. There was a wonderful quote by Jonas Salk, who said, if, you were to, uh, if all the insects were to disappear from the earth, uh, within 50 years, all life on earth would end. If all human beings disappeared from the earth, within 50 years, all forms of life would flourish. And he's right. What Ted celebrates is the gift of the human imagination. We have to be careful now that we use this gift wisely and that we avert some of the scenarios that we've talked about. And the only way we'll do it is by seeing our creative capacities for the richness they are and seeing our children for the hope that they are. And our task is to educate their whole being so they can face this future. By the way, we may not see this future, but they will. And our job is to help them make something of it.